So boys and girls, today we're doing Jasper Johns and we're gonna be doing using stencils of numbers like he used to do. And I want for you to choose a number that means something to you. So it could be how old you are, it could be how many kids are in your family, it could be your birthday, whatever you wanna do. For myself, I'm gonna choose six because I was born in June. So you can see here on this stencil and we'll have them up. This is, I know if I see it from this direction, I'm on the wrong side because you're gonna be able to see it from the front. And this arrow tells me that it's that side up. I'm gonna put it on my paper and I'm gonna line the stencil up here on the left hand side. If you want a friend to hold it for you, you can work that out with them. I usually like to just have my one hand over here. And now I'm gonna take my pencil and I just kind of go along the inside here. If you mess up and you go wah over here, you go wah over here, don't worry about it because you're going to be putting a ton of paint on top. So I'm going to finish my six here. And now we have the Jasper Johns method of having it be a little chaotic, but there being order and always using primary colors. So I'm going to start with, uh, sure, I'll go start with some red. And I'm going to come and I want to color in the inside of my lines here. Now remember, Jasper Johns would kind of start off like everything was going normal. And then by the time he was done, he wanted to have that feeling of chaos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the inside of the six here. But maybe I'm going to come over here while my paintbrush is in red and do the outside of the six over here. The thing to have it be that this doesn't get too chaotic is you obviously can't paint the inside of the six here, red, and the outside of the six red. You get what I mean? So you're either doing the inside or the outside. So I'm just bopping around here with my red for a little bit. I went a little bit outside of my lines, but whatever. And then maybe over here, I'll do a little red over here, a little red over here. <laughs> so now I'm going to rinse out my brush and I'm going to pick up some blue. So maybe I'll come over here where I have red and I'll paint the inside of my thing with some blue. Now I'm going to have some paper towel on the tables for you so that your paintbrush is not, doesn't get too wet. <laughs> so I'm going to come on the outside over here. And now I'm going to pick up a little yellow and I'm going to come here. And I'm just going to continue to paint using these primary colors. And if they mix, that's okay, because that's the beginning of the chaos. So I'm going to come over here. So as you start to put on more and more layers, it's going to start to feel a little bit like, ooh, doggies. But all you have to do is ask your neighbor, can you still... You just ask them, can you till, still sell, tell what number I have here? And if they go, yeah, that's the number four, then you're going to be like, oops, maybe I went a little too crazy. So I'm just going to keep adding on more and more here. And now I can just come with some of these other colors and I can, I could dabble them in. I could pick up some white here and bring in some white over here. This is where it's going to get a little Jasper Johnny, where you're going to start to wonder, am I doing too much? But remember, it's all about order with a little bit of chaos. Kind of like my life. Order and chaos. So I'm almost done here. I'm kind of hurrying up here on the end because I know you guys are getting anxious to start and do your own. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with this project. Have a good time.